I'm Amanda White. I'm a writer and a power lifter and strongman and anything pretty much that involves dangerous weightlifting. <laughs> I was an animator for a long time and uh, it was extremely difficult. And one of the things I wanted to do was figure out a way to make money without um, sleeping in the studio to get jobs done. And I started writing on the subway on the way to work and started self-publishing it to see if it would go anywhere. And eventually it did. And it got big enough that I got an agent and just took off after that. I'm, I've always done writing um, and I always did art. Uh, animation made the most sense at the time as a job in LA. All my friends were in it and I had grown up doing that. But um, like I said, it was, it was extremely difficult. It's not an easy industry. It's worse now <laughs> than ever, honestly. Um, so I mostly was just lucky that I could find a way to do something I had already liked doing and have it just be a career. <laughs> Originally, I was dating a personal trainer and they were really into weightlifting and I had never done it before. This is years ago, you know, this is like 20 years ago. Um, and then after we split up, I still loved doing it and I haven't stopped since. Uh, I've competed now for a few years. Um, I'm competing again in December, thanks to Dr. Wayne. Competed recently, thanks to Dr. Wayne. <laughs> so um, yeah, I just, friends got me into it and uh, I got hooked. So I would say writing and lifting are actually very similar. Um, you have to do them constantly to see results. You can't casually write a book and you can't casually lift weights and actually go anywhere with them. So uh, if you're prone to being able to dig in and do something constantly and you like putting time into something, you'll be good at both of them. <laughs> like the first week of June, um, I was prepping for a strongman show and I got really injured during my training. Um, it was really scary. My patella dislocated entirely. I had to go to the ER and everything. Um, and like this was in June and the show was end of August. So I knew immediately that if I wanted to even have a chance of still competing or honestly at that point, I didn't even know if I could, could compete, if I would be like out for months um, that I had to get into some sort of physical therapy. Um, but I also wanted to find someone who understood powerlifting and not just a random person that would tell me to get like on a BOSU ball and be like, here you go. Uh, so I reached out to um, some friends in the powerlifting community to see if they had any recommendations. And one of them specifically recommended Dr. Wayne here. So I messaged him on Instagram <laughs> and just said, this is what's happened. Um, and this was three days after the injury. Uh, and I was like, I need to see someone as soon as possible. I didn't think he would be able to see me, but he asked me to come in that day. <laughs> so I came in right away. That's how I found you guys. I actually had my ACL replaced in this leg eight years ago. And I was assigned a physical therapist back then who didn't know anything about lifting. Um, and it slowed my recovery. It made me have a lot of self-doubt about if I could even lift again. Um, I ended up taking a year off of the sport entirely. And I thought that was normal. <laughs> and then I learned between then and now that if you find someone who is familiar with your sport and that they could help you essentially. Um, so Dr. Wayne knew immediately. One, he, he watched my videos, he saw the injury, um, I had taped it, luckily. <laughs> he knew what had happened and how it had happened. And he, before I'd even come here, he had made a plan on how he could get me back to not just lifting, but to compete in the show still in that time frame, which I didn't think was possible. Um, so it meant the world to me, honestly, that he understood the sport and knew how to get me ready for it again. My goals initially were to just figure out what had happened exactly, because I, um, I don't know if I can explain the mental trauma of the injury. It, I've been hurt before, but I always knew why it had happened. I had, had no idea why this had happened this time. I had a video of it and I watched it and I couldn't figure out why. Um, 
so when I came in, I just mostly wanted to see if he could explain to me what had gone wrong so I could prevent it. And if he could get me well enough that I could maybe be training in my gym again within like a month or so. Uh, I couldn't even like unlock my leg. It was so awful. Um, and then my goals changed because he told me right away that I would be uh, competing in two months at the show and that I had, didn't have to drop out um, and that I would even do better than I had expected, which I didn't believe. <laughs> uh, and he was right, by the way. <laughs> I cried when I went home after our first session because I was so depressed after the injury. I was on like a high before I got hurt. I was ready. Like I was going to be performing at the show. Um, I was going to be like competing with people who were stronger than me. And I thought I would have a chance to maybe be on their level. Uh, and then after I got hurt, I thought I was out for who knew how long. And working out and lifting is, it's it, integral to my personality almost. It brings me joy. So to be robbed of that was very damaging for my, my psyche. Um, and he gave me my self-confidence back by telling me straight to my face that he knew how to make a plan that would get me where I wanted to be, which like stunning. That's not something I would have expected from most physical therapists. <laughs> One of my biggest takeaways from working with HealthFit and Dr. Wayne would be you need to find a doctor, a physical therapist that understands your sport so that they can not only get you back to where you were, but ideally make you better than you were before you got hurt. It's not just bringing you back to like your blank state kind of thing. Um, I think if you can find someone who gets that, then you'll be ahead of the game compared to a lot of people who unfortunately get injured, you know. So what's funny is that the injury, it didn't stop me from working out exactly. Uh, it stopped me from, I think the first week, I couldn't really use my leg for things. So I adapted <laughs> and I mostly did upper body workouts and things like that. Um, but I couldn't go down the stairs without it hurting. I couldn't walk distances without it hurting. I couldn't run at all. Um, actually, one of the things that happened soon after, I got injured and then I think it was a week later, we were going to go on a camping trip for Father's Day. It was a, I love camping, I love hiking, and we were really looking forward to it. And I thought that, that was gonna, I was going to have to stay home while my son and husband went without me. Um, and Dr. Wayne told me that I had no reason not to go on the trip. Um, he told me just to be careful going down slopes, <laughs> you know. Um, so I went and I did that and it was the time of my life and it was honestly different. Obviously, I couldn't hike to the top of a mountain, but I still enjoyed myself a lot. You know, um, everybody here is so nice. Uh, every time I walk in, I know that the front desk is going to smile at me and ask me how I'm doing. Um, they are just their mood is so good. So it's hard to come in here and be in a bad mood. <laughs> I'm a pretty cheerful person anyway, but then they like lift me up a little bit. Um, and I think that adds a lot to the experience. The competition was really interesting. Um, the lift that injured me that made this whole event happen was the first lift I was going to have to do in the competition. Um, and I was mentally terrified leading up to the show. I was convinced more than once that it was not going to happen, that I was crazy for attempting it, that even as good as he was making me feel that there was just no way, you know? And for that to be the first thing, I was like, what if I get hurt again, you know? Um, and Dr. Wayne told me to just trust myself, trust my body, trust the plan. And I went in and I got first place. <laughs> so. I would say that um, the show went as good as it could have possibly gone. Um, I pulled a 7,000 pound truck. Uh, I lifted 270 pounds on the Dinny Stones, which was the injury that dislocated my patella. I lifted a 300 pound you know, Ukrainian deadlift, um, 90 pound axle stuff. It was, it was incredible. Um, I cried tears of joy after it was done because I honestly couldn't believe that I had not only attended, but that I had won. You know, so just what's better than that? <laughs> because the main lift that I was going to have to do was the one that injured me, 
um, a lot of our training involved facing that, I guess you could say. We tried alternative lifts that we could maybe do that would work, that would not quite mimic the injury. But then we realized quickly that it was going to have to be that motion to get it done. Um, so Dr. Wayne had a number of warm-ups he had me do um, with bands and things that mimicked the lift entirely and let me get over the mental hurdle that I was facing. I, I was getting like shakes and sweats whenever I would get in front of the Denny Stones. I can't even explain how scary it was to think that that was going to happen again. One of my biggest fears was re-injury because there was a certain point we reached with physical therapy where I felt so good that I thought I could stop here. I could just, this is good enough and I can live a normal life and I don't have to go to the show. I don't have to lift these weights. And then I realized that part of this healing wasn't just physical, it was mental. And if I didn't at least try, I would kick myself forever and think, you know, you should have gone all the way and proven to yourself that you are capable of this now and that you won't get hurt again. Let's see. So he was getting married um, during this. Uh, so we talked a lot about the wedding um, and he complained constantly about how he had to lose weight for the wedding, which is very funny. For a guy who power lifts and is used to bulking and cutting, you, you make it sound like he'd never done it before. Um, he also got a tattoo actually and uh, complained about how he couldn't lift while he was um, talking to me a lot. And I thought that was funny because a lot of times I could not also lift. So I was like, how are you complaining about this? Like, we're the same right now. We're the same person. You're not allowed to complain. <laughs> He's very funny, um, very easy to like him. I would recommend Health Fit to others and in fact have recommended Health Fit to others already. Um, unfortunately, injury is very common in powerlifting and strongman especially. Um, and having now done physical therapy with somebody who isn't involved in the sport and somebody who is, it's a night and day experience. My old physical therapist would have told me, um, don't lift again. That's their answer, you know, you just don't get hurt that way. And, and HealthFit has made it a point to make sure that they understand what you want to gain from coming here and that they make that happen. So easily recommend them to everybody that I know. I would tell them that HealthFit helped me pull a 7,000 pound truck. How could you not want to come to some place that lets you um, do that level of feet? Like that's not normal, <laughs> you know? It's not just, oh, I was able to straighten my leg out again. I went and achieved things that people don't normally do even when they're in their peak fitness. <laughs> I can't think of a negative thing about you guys. <laughs> hey, if you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification for our latest tips coming to you every week. Share this video with your family and friends. It might just make their day a little bit better. I'll see you soon.